Hello, my name is Joey Hopkins. My name is Haley Hopkins. We are David Crockett High School, FCCLA, Level 3, Hospitality, Tourism, and Recreation. We are very excited to present our portfolio with you today. To develop our business, we started with the FCCLA planning process and selected our focus area in recreation. We decided to design a campground for locals and tourists to enjoy. Together, we set a goal to create a successful campground using our knowledge of the people, the area, and other camping options available. In forming our plan, we started by identifying our concerns. Our concern is that there is not a suitable campground in Jonesboro for residents and tourists to enjoy. With our concern identified, it was time to set a goal. Our goal was to create a campground that has a relaxing outdoor environment, various activities, excellent customer service, and different lodging areas for everyone to enjoy. Now we are ready to act on our plan. Our project focus area was on recreation and creating a campground where customers can value nature and make fun memories. It is located right outside of Jonesboro, Tennessee and offers several activity and lodging options. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics, the job outlook for traditional lodging managers is projected to decline by 12% by the year 2029. Stays in traditional lodging establishments have been declining while short-term rentals like cabins have risen. This combined with the ongoing van life movement, people traveling in converted vans, trucks, and trailers, projects recreational areas and camping trailer spots to be on the rise. These factors show that the outlook for lodging managers in our area could actually be on the rise. In addition, the outlook for recreation workers and grounds maintenance workers is projected to grow 10% and janitors grow 4% by 2029. Our research in the careers in the focus area led us to information on the following. Lodging managers can make $49,000, recreation workers can make $27,000, and janitors can make $26,000 annually. And finally, grounds maintenance workers can make $14.80 per hour. We began our effort to carry out background research on campgrounds, similar to our idea. There were three campgrounds we chose to compare, and the first was Riverview Campground, this campground is just 10 minutes from downtown Jonesboro, Tennessee. As you can see, we've provided a list of pros and cons on this establishment. Some positive practices of Riverview Campground are, they are next to the Nolichucky River and the website is easy to navigate. Some negative practices include that the parking is unknown, the hours are not clearly stated, and there are no on-site activities. Our second campground evaluated was River Park Campground. This campground is 11 minutes away from downtown Jonesboro, Tennessee. Some positives of River Park include a store in the check-in building, river access, and there is parking at every campsite. Some negatives include that there are only two tent sites available, prices are not clearly shown on the website, the website is not easy to navigate, and the campsites are not spaced out. Our third and final comparison is the Nolichucky Gorge Campgrounds and Cabins. This campground is located in Unicoi, Tennessee, just 20 minutes from Jonesboro. Several positive practices include an easy to navigate website, they are located next to USA Rafts, and day pass options are available. Negative practices include limited parking, the grounds are not spaced out, and there is only one cramped bathhouse. From the information gathered, we developed a mission statement. Clark's Hollow Campground exists to provide a relaxing and fun outdoor experience for anyone to enjoy. When guests arrive, we want them to forget their troubles at the entrance and step into an outdoor world of fun and enjoy it to the fullest. This led to the development of our target client profile. According to Data USA, the median age of Jonesboro is 40 years old and the median household income is $47,416. Our clientele would be Millennials and Gen Xers of the working to middle class. Our affordable prices and outdoor activities would appeal to most of this market. Jonesboro offers two campgrounds to provide only campus sites and a few tent spaces. We feel as though our campground could offer a greater quality of tent sites, camper sites, as well as cabins to better accommodate guests. The addition of our campground would increase the revenue of our town. Tourists and locals will not have to travel to another town or state to enjoy an outdoor camping experience. Our establishment would also bring more business to Jonesboro. The Jonesboro area offers shops, restaurants, festivals, and historic landmarks. Our campground is conveniently located, making it the perfect place to camp while in the area. Now all we had to do was turn our words into reality. 
In order to develop our website, we used Wix.com, a free website builder. Building a website proved to be harder than we thought, and we learned a lot through trial and error. We began by choosing backgrounds for our website. We chose ones that help establish a warm and outdoorsy aesthetic. We wanted a soft nature look for our website and for it to be easily navigated. Each web page provides links to our tent and camper sites, cabins, group areas, activities, map, about us, and contact page. We also provided forms for our customers to leave testimonials and make reservations. On our home page, we include the name of our campground and buttons that redirect you to the services we offer. We offer many activities. Our website provides a page that lists all of the activities located on site as well as prices. Off site activities are included as well, however, prices are unknown. As shown here on our tents and campers pages, we provide a descriptive detail of all of our tent sites as well as camper sites and buttons to take you to the reservation forms. We offer eight tent sites of two different sizes and four camper sites. Each site offers a water spout, trash bins, a fire pit, a picnic table, and a grill. In addition, the camper sites offer utility hookups with septic located separately. On our cabins page, we provide a description of our cabins. We offer six cabins of two different sizes. The smaller wigwam cabin, which sleeps four, and the larger upcountry cabin, which sleeps six. Each cabin offers electricity, water, AC and heat, a TV, a sofa, kitchenette, beds, bathroom, as well as other basic amenities. On our group areas page, we provide a list of pavilions and group camping areas. We provide 12 pavilions in three different sizes. Small, 16 by 16 foot, large, 24 by 24 foot, and party pavilions, which are 32 by 32 foot and include a small kitchen. Our three group camping areas are 40 foot by 60 foot areas with a small bathhouse, two grills, two picnic tables, and trash bins on site. On our training and safety requirements page, we provide the training for zip lining and safety notices. For zip lining, a short training session will be required regarding safety on the course. Any safety notices will be posted in all activity locations to ensure a safe and fun experience. Our directions page offers directions to our campground. Our contact information page allows our guests to write testimonials as well as reserve group areas. And our About Us page gives our story as well as season information. A large portion of a success, successful business is the customer service strategy. There are three ways to provide feedback to our business. Through contacting us on our website and surveys located at the main office area and cabins. If a customer completes the survey, they will be entered in a drawing to receive one free night in a wigwam cabin on their next visit. Employee feedback will be based on a point system. Positive feedback will result in a point being rewarded, while negative feedback will result in a point being deducted. Points will be rewarded with the bonus of $15 per point. There are a total of four points to be gained per employee within the operating season. For every point deducted, there will be an evaluation meeting held with the employee in question, every training completed as necessary. Our bibliography page provides a list of sources used in our research. Thank you for your time and allowing us to provide our business overview for Clark's Hollow Campground with you today. Are there any questions? One skill I learned during this project that I will use in my career is the basics of entrepreneurship. I plan to major in hospitality and business management in college and eventually own and operate my own business. This project has helped me tremendously with realizing how easily my future goals can be accomplished. The major obstacle we faced during this project was not physically being in school. This made it more difficult to complete the project and handle problems along the way. To solve our problems, we designated specific days to come to school and work. This allowed us to the access to the materials needed and to finish on time. 